All right, here I am in the city of Palmdale, uh, in the northern part of Los Angeles County. This area is considered the Antelope Valley, and I'm currently at the Palmdale Metrolink train station, and I'm gonna be riding a path due north of here, connecting from the Palmdale station all the way to the Lancaster station. The trip is about seven and a half miles, and it should take me around 45 minutes. So a fairly short trip, uh, but I've been wanting to check this route out for a while and we're going to catch a train back at the end of the trip back here to Palmdale Station. So without saying much more, let me grab my bike and we'll get started. Alright, here we go, just exiting Palmdale Station, and we are currently linking up with Sierra Highway. So this path mostly rides along the Sierra Highway, all the way from station to station, right along the train line. It might be a little noisy with cars passing by, but it's not a big deal to have a nice, you know, safe Class 1 bike path. Here we are, the first week of spring. This has been a cold winter and a cold early spring, but that's okay. Oh yeah, so I forgot to mention this uh, trail is called the Sierra Bike Trail. Uh, so if you need to look it up, there you go. This is one of only, I think only two different bike trails in the Antelope Valley. So this is the longest of the two. It's situated in a way to be really convenient uh, alongside the, the metro train line. For anyone that commutes on the train, I don't know if there's a situation where you have to get off at Palmdale and then make the final connection to Lancaster, or vice versa. You could commute to Palmdale Station and skip Lancaster Station. The Metro Line on the Antelope Valley Green Line will actually take you all the way from Palmdale Lancaster to downtown Los Angeles. And from there, you can make connections anywhere in Southern California. With Metrolink, you can put your bike on the the train for free. Every single Metrolink train has a bike car on it. And uh, we'll check that out later on the return trip. But it's a great way to get around all of Southern California, essentially. After you make that connection in downtown LA, you can make connections anywhere. So that's really cool. So after like the first like half mile, this bike trail kind of opens up a little bit, feels a little more away from the street, even though you can still hear the cars behind me. I quite like it. It's a little wider and uh, it looks like the, the trail is a little better maintained uh, than it was in the first half mile. Thus far, I'm the only one riding it, so that's really interesting to see. That's the one thing. We have to encourage these cities to install more bike trails like this and bike paths. And we're only going to encourage cities to do that if we ride them. So this is a pretty great resource for the people of Palmdale, Lancaster. If you guys are, or gals are watching this, uh, and you you like riding your bike in the in this area make sure you come out here and give this bike path some use all right i'll just sit down here for a minute there's kind of a nice little shaded bike stop area this little bike stop is really cool my one criticism of this uh this path that i guess really just for recording uh, purposes is that it's these cars that are passing by on the highway are very loud but uh not much can be done about that that's okay i just love seeing like uh infrastructure built into cities and city planning in, in this way that's really a benefit to the the community anyways yeah this little uh break spot right here is very early on the ride so i don't really need to sit down here for long let's uh get back on the bike and keep going Another thing about my vlog today, I'm not going to be able to uh, have any aerial shots of this path or this ride because we're actually riding to the west side of the Palmdale uh, Airport. For anyone who doesn't fly a drone, you can't fly without authorization. And that's not something I have today. So today it's just going to be a standard one-shot camera vlog. That's okay. I think it kind of fits with this kind of more low-key path. 
there wouldn't be a lot of space anyways for me to fly a drone safely away from people. So I think that works out fine for me. Until recently, I haven't spent a lot of time in Palmdale or Lancaster other than on trips just passing through. But it's, it's a really interesting uh, part of the county and part of the region of Southern California, an, an important area. Really interesting aviation history. That's something I would love to be able to learn a little more about. There's a lot of museums out here, and especially in downtown Lancaster. If you get away from the bike paths too, there's a lot of open space. There's a lot of mountain biking as well. Beautiful landscape surrounding it. And in really rainy seasons, there's a lot of wildflowers in the area, which are very seasonal. But this year in particular, it's something to come out here and check out. I don't know if I brought it up. Today is a cold day in the first week of spring. I've been trying to come out here since January to film this vlog, but every time I plan a trip and have a couple days off to do it, uh, it, it rains. It's been raining so much this spring. I finally got out here at the end of March, but it's still cold and windy. So I'm glad to be moving on my bike a little bit now, riding a little faster, warming up a little bit. Anyways, I'm gonna put the camera down for a minute. We're about halfway through the, the ride already. Let me show you what I'm seeing. You can see the train tracks to my right. I've been following them the whole time. No trains have passed me by, but I'm looking out for them. I think this time of day in the train schedule for the commuter trains is kind of a dead zone. You want to commute early morning or you want to commute later afternoon if you're trying to get to LA and back. Otherwise, you're stuck on your bike. That's okay with me. Just passed by another bike rest stop. It's cool to see another one. I really feel like I don't need to rest, but I can imagine on a hot summer day out here in Palmdale, actually, we're pretty close to Lancaster now. When it's 100 degrees plus, yeah, you'd want to use those rest, those sheltered rest stops for sure. Because uh, this is a desert after all. And the Southern California desert can get scorching hot day after day. So, yeah, I love seeing those things built into the bike path. We're about to pass the Antelope Valley Courthouse. There hasn't been much as far as like resources along the way. It's mostly just been this, this path and the highway. It looks like there's a couple gas stations approaching. We might have to do a little bit of class two street riding to bridge the final gap to Lancaster Station. Uh, we'll see about that. There we go, just past the Welcome to Lancaster sign. It's interesting, I actually am noticing a, a slight difference in the path uh, itself. Uh, a little more like, unfortunately, kind of like trash and rubbish in the area. It could use a little better maintenance, that's for sure. That doesn't mean it's like this all the time, but you know, just for the time being, it might be nice to get like some city organizers to clean up the path a little bit for, uh, people commuting here. Let's keep going into Lancaster, getting closer to downtown. I know we're on the side of a highway right now, but I've never seen full billboard advertising before uh, for a bike path that runs right under every single uh, large billboard. Uh, I know it's more so for the cars, but it's just funny to me. We're approaching Avenue K here in Lancaster, and uh, we're probably about three-fourths of the way through the entire path, the entire uh, route uh, to the station, to downtown, so let's keep going.
this is a fairly easy trip. The wind's at my back the whole time too, so I'm, I really don't have to pedal that hard. It's been, it's been pretty nice. But a return trip would be about 15 miles with the headwinds one way, come out here in the morning or come out here when the weather's a little nicer. Could be a nice little commute there and back just to get some exercise in. All right, we gotta be really close to downtown now. I'm just gonna put the camera forward and record until we get there. Yep, I'm riding along a class two bike lane right here on the Sierra Highway. It feels pretty comfortable. I typically stay away from street riding, but uh, I'm okay with this. This uh, this lane's been designed pretty well. It's, uh, it's wider than the standard uh, class two lane. And I feel pretty comfortable riding it, to be honest. And it's only for a very short distance, probably have another half mile to go. So let's keep it going. All right, just like that, we made it. It was barely a half mile on the road. So let's turn into Lancaster Station on Milling Street. All right, we're here uh, at Lancaster Station. That was a pretty easy ride, much easier, and I completed it a lot quicker than I thought. Mostly because I had the wind up my back the whole time, which made it really nice. The sun has come out a little bit, so it's a little warmer than when I started, which I'm quite thankful for. My only criticisms of the bike path which are just minor criticisms. I'll just say it again. Once I crossed over into Lancaster, uh, the quality or the maintenance of the bike path seemed to dip a little bit and there was a lot more trash and rubbish in the area. So city of Lancaster, you gotta step up your game compared to your, your uh, sister city down south of you. This is your call to uh, clean up uh, that area a little bit. But that said, it's a small criticism. The bike path itself on the Lancaster side was actually a lot smoother. It didn't have as many divots. So it was actually a little easier to ride. But yeah, a little bit of maintenance could go a long way into encouraging more people to ride the bike path itself uh, from station to station. Because across those seven and a half miles, I only saw one other person pass me by. So let's get more people on the path. Let's, let's get people out riding, especially this time of year when it's not too hot. Uh, it's definitely a very manageable uh, ride. And once you cross over into Lancaster, there's a lot more resources, small convenience stores and gas stations, which are always nice to have. I'm gonna go buy my ticket so that I can make my return trip back to Palmdale. So let me take you with me on that. And then that'll be the end of the vlog for today. Thank you so much for joining me today on this more lo-fi, kind of low-key uh, vlog. I know there was no grand drone or aerial shots and there wasn't a whole lot to see but overall this is a very functional convenient bike path for uh, these two cities out here in the Antelope Valley and I was really really happy to show you uh, and hopefully encourage some more uh, ridership out here or maybe we can encourage the two cities out here to develop a, a few more bike paths because it's quite limited those are only small criticisms, but this is a great resource that I love to see. So thank you guys for joining me here today. Let's go catch a train back to Palmdale. And as always, ride on and ride safe.
Our next station stop is Palmdale. All station stops are brief. Palmdale. 